Well, as we get to know this equation here, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Oops. What I meant to say was, I'm just keeping this. This is an absolute value, but it works the same way as the, uh, that, was, that was my old habits, die young thing. Okay, it works with a parabola, but it also works with uh, the absolute value function. The absolute value function creates a, uh, a V shape to where we have a, uh, uh, a point uh, given at a certain location. We see that point there. We've identified that point as the vertex, and that vertex, uh, in this case here, negative 1, 2, 3, and then up 1. So negative 3, comma 1 uh, belongs in the, um, in the h and the k value here. So this is h and this is k. And we use this as uh, x minus h, which basically means this says change the sign of whatever it is that you're, that you're working with. And if this is a negative 3, then inside my little bracket deals here, I've got an x minus a negative 3. That gets a little busy. Let's call it plus. A lot of people just think of it in terms of changing the sign when you put it inside. Outside the plus k is the 1, so i got a plus 1. Now the a value, the only difference there in the a is, is, is what is the slope. Okay, it's, it's, it's how steep is this thing. And, and to do that, you can, you can count up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and back 1, 2, 3. So we're going up 2 and then over 1. We're going up 2 and over 1. I said that you went up 6 and over 3, that reduces to 2 over 1, which is what our slope is. Now, slope, you might look at that and say, well, that's negative. You're going down 2 and over 1. Yes, it's true, but you're also going up 2 and over 1 here. So the question of how do I know if it's the positive one or the negative one, well, it's ultimately, is it right side up or upside down? In this case here, since the V is facing up, it's a V, not a capital A. The V means that this number is going to be positive. So a quick version of that again, my vertex is at 2 comma 0. My absolute value is going to be x minus 2, change the sign, plus 0, which is unnecessary, but also, I think, useful. The fact that we go from here down 3 and over 3, that's a negative 3 over 3. Okay, the slope is 1. The orientation of this is negative. So negative 1 times, or just a negative out in front, would be sufficient.